I want to show you how to use mini bridge to place images and then create a grid using the gridify method. This is pretty cool. So in InDesign CS5, if I come under the window menu, choose mini bridge, we're going to see this mini bridge open up. It's kind of like a small version of bridge. Now we can place images out here, drag them out, and that's what we'll do in a second. But I want to turn on a feature before I get started. I want to put these out here in a grid and I want them to fill their frames automatically. So if I come under Object, come to Fitting, come to Frame Fitting Options, there's an option under here called Auto Fit. I want to turn that on for these images. Now, you might not like it for other images, so you can turn it off later, but for now we'll leave it on. It's going to fill the frame proportionally when we get them out there. I'll click OK. I'll select my images in Mini Bridge. You've got to navigate to the folder, you know, get where you want to go. Select your images, drag them out onto the page, let go. You'll get your loaded image cursor. I'll take mini bridge and probably close it up or collapse it. Then you can use your arrow keys right and left to cycle through the images to see which one you want to place first. Now I'll click and drag. You'll notice it'll place one at a time, but in CS5, if I use my right arrow or my left arrow, I can increase or decrease the number of frames I create. This isn't going to create one frame that's split. It's going to create multiple frames. So right and left arrows will increase and decrease the number of frames going across or horizontally. The up arrow will increase the number of frames going down. Down arrow will decrease. So I'm going to create a grid of four. You know, you're going to be able to move this around by holding down the space bar. I haven't let go of my mouse yet. So hold down the space bar, move it around. You can kind of get it where you want to. I might stick it on the side over here. Let go of my mouse, or my space bar rather, not the mouse. Let go of the space bar then let go of the mouse and there we go there's our grid of images out there now they're all fill frame proportionally you can see that right there and just a little added bonus here if you want to then change the distance between these you can use something called the gap tool just give it a try gap tool i'm not going to get into it i'll do another tip on this it allows you to go in and start to arrange or change the distance and the uh, proportions between all of these objects so that's working with gridify and working with mini bridge